Uh, your take on the election, President-elect Trump. Well, I'm looking for a great transition. I think we're, America is going to be great again. Why do you think uh, Trump won? You know, what is your analysis of that? Well, it's, it's a deep-seated analysis. He got more votes in the Electoral College than she did. <laughs> but, you know, we, we've heard a million different uh, explanations. Rural versus city. Uh, they just didn't like Hillary Clinton. What, what do you think the, the one factor was? We, the people. First three words of the Constitution, to which I took an oath to defend for 25 years as a U.S. Marine, and all these other veterans did too. Same oath. Every, every official in America takes an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And the first three words of that Constitution are, we, the people. And we, the people, spoke. And we're going to have a change of regime in Washington. We hired a new commander-in-chief. And finally, how much do you think of what you said during the campaign trail that Donald Trump can actually carry out? Even though he has a, a favorable Congress, how much do you think uh, of his agenda he'll be able to carry out? I, I think there's going to be a, a wellspring of support for a new agenda in America. And I wouldn't make a prediction as to whether it's going to be this or that, but I do know one thing. He's going to take care of America's soldiers, sailors, airmen, guardsmen, and Marines that we're honoring here today. And uh, your thoughts on the protests going on in places like San Francisco, Portland, Seattle? Well, you know, the oath that I took to that Constitution, that Constitution has a First Amendment in it. It gives me the right to worship as I please, for you to broadcast what you want, and for people to gather as they wish. And that's part of that same Constitution. I don't like what I see, when, what you and I are just talking about with burning the flag. And that's because that flag has covered the bodies of so many good Marines that I knew and so many of the youngsters I've covered over there in this war, I think it deserves a lot more honor than they're being given in those protests.